Greetings, beloved beings of eternal light, eternal life. I'm Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have another special whiteboard teaching for you today. This may be my last one for a while. It takes a lot of time to record, edit, upload these. And what's critical now with these accelerations of energy and times are my daily transmissions where I transmit the latest information and knowledge coming in about this great awakening, the ascension process, and the new earth frequencies. So in today's video, I'm going to explain a little bit about perception, awareness, uh, resonance, frequency, all these things to help you on your journey ahead. So we're going to start with everything you experience in the whole infinite multiverse. Everything is frequency, resonance, sound, vibration. We call the sine wave or we call the one law, which ultimately is the great mind of Dr. Walter Russell would teach. Everything expands from the still white magnetic light at the center of everything. Everything expands as a sphere, like a ripple effect and compresses. This is expansion out to the ends of itself the ends of the universe we call God, source, creator, energy, infinite energy that has always existed and always will, expands from the still center out into the ends of itself until it reaches the end of time-space continuum where it's a feedback loop and then everything compresses linearly as a square. So it's the expansion, the divine feminine expands as a sphere spatially nonlinear and compresses returns to center linearly linear it's the masculine it's the compression it's the in breath and the out breath return to that still center so everything that's what creates the expansion compression creates all frequency everything in the universe as nikola tesla our great brother thor great bro thor of the light would teach everything is resonance, everything is frequency. <clears throat> Vibration, we call the sine wave. The original meaning of sin was the sine wave, which created separation here and there, up and down, north, south, past, present, future. This is the trinity with the neutrality in the center. So everything we experience we say is through our sensory perception we perceive the world with our senses our five senses and then the six senses intuition psychic ability but the five senses we have sensory organs the eyes ears nose tongue and body the body the feeling energy through our nervous system so we have the five senses five elements and we have our sensory organs. So all light, sound, frequency, resonance, where actually the shaman see us as a luminous egg with trillions, billions and trillions of filaments of light that form. And then over the left shoulder in the back, all these points come together into what is called an assemblage point. And that's what uh, creates our timeline. That's what holds us in this this universe in this timeline, in this dimension, then there's parallel realities all around that infinite in the time-space continuum. And as we teach, the human body and the Taoist, Buddhists, three Dantians. You have lower Dantian in the belly, middle Dantian, heart center, upper Dantian, the brain. And each Dantian is its own brain, its own center. So we have what we call neurons. Neurons are cells in these dantians. Now dantian mean has it translated D A N T I A N mean field of elixir or elixir field, the field of the elixirs. And you you hear this in alchemy, the the alchemists. I don't care if it was Taoist, Buddhist, uh, of the West, the the Christian a Judeo-Christian alchemist. These go way back. The Taoists in China, they were the, the master alchemists. And we talk about alchemy like sorcery too with uh, Merlin and 
all these lines, these dragon lines, lineages, the elixir, they, they believe there is an elixir you can consume to attain immortality. And also symbolic transmuting lead to gold is rainbow body transmuting or transforming physical vessel back to light. Because from the light it comes, uh, from the sound, the light into the particle and into our physical reality. So each dantian is, uh, they're neurons, neurons in the brain. These are uh, messengers of information, they're cells. They're in the brain, the heart, and lower dantian. They're, the most are in the stomach, in the belly. And we say uh, there's portals. These are three portals. Also chakra centers. Each one has three. There's three within the three within the three. Three, six, nine of Nikola Tesla code. And each one is connected. And each neuron in the brain is uh, connected by synapses, the synapses in the brain and our sensory organs bring in information, resonance, frequencies, the sound, the light, the sound into the ears and each, um, we have a central nervous system that's uh, the brain and follow the nervous system through the spine, which is the central channel, the shushumna, sushumna are the, we say katika, in Tibetan uh, Gnosis, Tibetan Buddhism, and then we have all these uh, nervous uh, channels, nervous system. These are following the meridian, the body. So, you know, you feel something in your leg, it sends up through your nervous system to the brain that there's pain or whatnot. Now, light come into the eyes, into the optical nerve, and that optical nerve sends the information to the brain and in the neocortex of our brain, we recreate this reality. So everything that appears to be outside our body, actually within our body, it's a paradox. What's external is internal, and what is internal is external. I know this is difficult for the mind, because the, the mind of man, of the human, thinks in uh, duality terms, like black or white, forgetting about the 50 shades in the middle, and forgetting that emptiness is form, and form is emptiness. So we have the information, you know, in the ancient texts, like in Genesis, in the Bible, in the beginning was the word. And in the Sanskrit, in the Hindu traditions, uh, we say Om is the original sound. It's the base resonance, the original sound of the universe. In the beginning, the word Om, and then it reached, and then the, the high, you know, the high frequency, the high resonance, become light and then that light becomes physical particles that create the universe so we say the the information the the energy come into you know the eyes the ears auditory uh, the the nose the sense the smell and then the taste of the tongue and within there is portals in the body these that connect to the three dantians in the back and in the front because each each dantian remember is a, its own toroidal field see the energy you know creating that that spiraling energy and then into the bigger toroidal field of the whole vessel so all the energy there's a downward flow and an upward flow the rising up you know is the fire, the compression, the, the flowing down the water. And in the back, we say behind Lord Dantian, in the back of the body here, we call Ming Men, Ming Men. You can look that up, study M-I-N-G-M-E-N, Ming Men. And the Taoist master says, the breath of life, as we're born into this physical vessel, the breath of the cosmos, of the universe, of God, enters through the Ming Men and through the portal of death leaves through the Ming Men. This is in the back of the spine. The kidneys are connected to Ming Men. It's water energy, the water and the breath of life. So within the center of the upper Dantian, the Shen Gong, the, the crystal palace in the very center of the brain, this is the sacred cave where the two glands the most powerful of our perception of our consciousness the pineal 
and the pituitary glands. These are worshipped through all um, ancient cultures and spiritual traditions and lineages. It is um, the pineal and the pituitary. They, they vibrate together and, and create our perception and our consciousness that resides within this physical vessel is perceives our reality based on the information that's brought in through our eyes, ears, and nose, tongue, and our, our physical body. And then it goes through many filters and then our what we call our internal map of reality, what we believe reality to be, is filtered through this. Now within our physical vessel, our DNA, we, our, we have DNA, that the double helix, it's, it's like two sine waves interconnected and each strand the two strand there's 32 codons these are codes codons c-o-d-c-o-n 32 and 32 create 64 this is a 64 code of the matrix this is our reality just if you've seen my uh, teaching in the past of the yi ching i-c-h-i-n-g yi ching oopsie you will um no, there's 64 hexagrams. This is uh, the gene keys. Richard Rudd got the, the code from the Yi Ching. It's an ancient book that's uh, been dated as far back as 3,000 years, 3,000 years in the past. This is not the, the best system here for holding up this little guy here. We're doing the best we can with what we got. So the Yi Ching, there's 64 hexagrams. Hex, Y, hex, six. Hex is six, like hexadecimal code. Hexagram, like an image. And there's three and three. Three above, three below. And yin and yang, there's a solid line is, yin, is yang, Y-A-N-G, the solid line. Yin is the broken line. So yin, zero, yang, one. This is binary code. The mathematician, he got the, the concept for binary code, which is beyond, behind all source code on computers as binary ones and zeros. And just like a chessboard is eight by eight. We have eight squares. Eight by eight, the 64, and black and white, the yin and yang, the black, the yin, the white, the yang. And we say with 64 bits of information are virtually infinite simulations we can create from these 60, 64 bits of code of information. Just like our DNA, there's infinite humans that can be created. And no two are exactly alike. Just like fingerprints, no two fingerprints are exact. So we have, so the, the Taoist masters, they realized that we could tell, um, they called the book of change or the Book of Fortune, because they could tell your future based on these 64 codes. And then they, the masters realized if, if everything is based on the 64 codes, it's all within our DNA. It's all part of the program. So how do we free ourselves from that program? And that's what the spiritual teachings were. That's what Rainbow Body was, to free yourself. And now we're going through this great shift where the code is upgrading. We have the double strand, which will is... Um, activating the 12 strand so this is six by six six and six 12 and then the 13 in the middle the 13th which is etheric which is the divine goddess the divine feminine that's coming in so all these resonances and with these cosmic rays we say radiation what really is radiation it's radiating out radiating it's electricity electricity so it is like um, when, uh, if you read uh, Walter Russell's amazing book, Atomic Suicide, there's three major books that should be mandatory reading in every high school on the planet. It is The Secret of Light by Walter Russell, Atomic Suicide, and The Way In by Barry Long. <laughs> Those are my three top recommendations. And he explains in... Um, Walter Russell completed the Mendeleev chart of elements. He was a cosmic conscious being of light, a Christed being who went through the death portal and came back with his full consciousness and then taught for many years and was one of the world's greatest artists, engineers, uh, physicists. There's a whole 
line of physics called Russellian physics based on his knowledge, and he completed the Mendeleev chart of elements. And he would teach uh, about the octaves, the frequencies of all the elements, the elemental chart. And he would teach radiation, really electricity. There's electricity and magnetism, what we call gravity. It's a magnetic pull to the center, the radiating out electrical, and then the compressing in is the the gravity that we call magnetism, the electromagnetic field. Because one expands, the other compresses. The electricity electricity radiates, so uh, up the frequency is higher electrical potential. Just like radium, like power plants, nuclear power plants. He was very much against nuclear power plants. He spoke out against them. And this is a man that really understood radiation, nuclear power, uh, and the waste that they create. And there's there's a very it's very difficult to you can't dispose of it so they bury it underground the waste because it's basically rods of higher radiation say plutonium radium radium is a higher we call heavy metal it's a salt the salt of the earth and it's given off such a high frequency that it boils water that the the heat from this electricity electricity is the fire the magnetism is the water, and the power of this electricity heats up water, and the steam rises, turns turbines, and that what powers our electrical grids. Uh, that's part of it. Now, obviously, they're using some alternative energies, solar, wind, all these things. But, uh, you know, uh, Nikola Tesla, 80 years ago or more, had free energy tapping in the zero point. If you go up, you know, 100 feet in the air, there's infinite electricity, ele power flowing through the airwaves. Nikola Tesla would call it the ethers, the ether, the ethers. So we have these codes coming in, and they're, we're getting upgrades to the codes, the code, uh, the codons of our DNA. We have chromosomes and telomeres, and these things coming into our physical vessel here through the air, the frequency, the vibration of the codes, these genetic codes people uh, call uh, viruses and bacteria. Human beings would not exist without viruses or bacteria. They edit the code. They edit the, 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 um, the signature, the code signature of and upgrade the telomeres and strengthen the telomeres and do many things. There's, you know, many functions of that which the the Tao is always uh, shifting and changing and upgrading and all these things that we talk about in our daily transmission. So we're receiving these upgrades through frequency. So we hit, we talk about the Schumann resonance. It's the frequency and hertz of what the Mother Earth that, that is giving off this frequency, what she is resonating at. And we are the hippocampus of the brain is resonates at the same frequency so as that frequency rises it shifts our brain chemistry things like that like the piezo electrical elements shift you into other timelines other dimensions creating things that humans call like hallucinations but it's really your mind moving into a different vibration a different range a different frequency uh, there's a raising and a lower of these frequencies. So as this radiation, it's almost like we're being electrified. We f we feel it like he would say it's a misnomer. It's false when we say we're poisoned by radiation, like poisoned by, and they say radiation poison. He said, you're not being poisoned. You're being electrocuted. You know, it speeds up the death process. He explains it simply. You have a log, that a tree that fell in the woods and it takes many years, many, many years for that tree to decompose and to return to the earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But if you light that wood on fire, it speeds up. That fire is electricity. It raises its radiation and it burns up in maybe a couple hours instead of 200 years. It's, it's similar to that. That's why people that are exposed to these high frequencies, these radiation, these chemicals, it... Uh, it speeds up the death process. Hair falls out gray. The skin sinks in. You, you've all seen this before in documentaries and movies, I'm sure. 
So it's really speeding up the the burning process, the burning out of the cells and the, the physical vessel. So we're receiving from source creator, from the Tao, these new codes for these upgrades that are preparing us for this major shift. We're in the shift of the ages uh, into the new golden age of eternal life. This is the concept of immortality where you don't have to go through a death portal to free yourself from the matrix. Now the matrix, uh, matrika, the divine waters got corrupted. They got muddied based on ignorance, illusion, and separation programming. And we're resolving this when we say the unborn mind of Buddha. This is our pure eternal awareness that we always are. It's the I am presence that has always existed and that always will. And this temporary, the temporal uh, it, this impermanent uh, reality is part of the simulation. It's a simulated reality based on a mirrored effect and based on these 64 codes of, of infinite information that's constantly being manipulated, changing, evolving. We say evolving consciousness works with these elements and with the codes and we're assisting it through living from our heart with our joy, our bliss, the raising of our energy, which is obviously the energy is coming in the sun today with constant solar flares. Uh, there was, I believe at this time, there were four M class. One was close to another X class. We've had multiple X class. These are sending electrical information into this field. The, the, um, ionosphere of the earth, the magnetosphere, you know, the electroma electromagnetic field around the earth, the toroidal field, which is the same that's within our vessel. It's all being affected with these great changes and all in preparation for this quantum leap of consciousness because our consciousness works with these codes, with the DNA, with the frequency, with the resonance of what our perception can perceive through our sensory perception. But as we tap into these higher dimensional aspects of ourself, we're, we're shifting timelines every day now. And with these strange ships and, you know, you can talk to just about anyone. I was talking to a guy that owns a market at the corner earlier today and just how weird everything is. I said, yeah, it's a, the matrix is revealing is, itself, and he just laughed. Even if he's not into these metaphysical things like all of you and this great awakening, people people are realizing that uh, things are not what they seem and that uh, everything's getting, nothing makes sense to people because it doesn't fit into our paradigm, that old paradigm, these things coming in, what we're all witnessing and experiencing with these strange uh, beliefs and propaganda and, and programming uh, that it's the world is not what it seems all things are being revealed in this great revelation in this great awakening we call all things being revealed the apocalypse is the unveiling of that which was hidden so it's very strange to most human beings that have any awakenness to them at all so part of this great awakening as we tap into these we say the dormant dna dormant energies these codes were preparing for this quant what the the mayans the ancient mayans call the quantum leap of consciousness they had their own terminology obviously we're translating them into modern just like we always use maya maya was illusion maya m-a-y-a meant uh, you know illusion of the matrix in ancient Sanskrit, uh, the Buddha taught about Maya that all we experience with our senses is an illusion. And but we are our true nature is infinite light and infinite life. And what we experience through this simulation is temporary. But we're using this temporal state and our true power of the I am presence to shift this realm into a state of what we call heaven on earth. And it's the merging of the two worlds so to free humanity from these cycles of samsara, of, of suffering and uh, duality and all these things that cause suffering and these fair programs uh, through 
uh, resolving and clearing the fields, the grids of these interference patterns, we call them. So as all these energies are coming in, my battery died. I had to switch it out here. I'm going to wrap this up here so I can get this edited and uploaded. Uh, with all these energies coming in with these cosmic rays and the energetics from the great central sun and from the higher dimensions, our nervous systems are becoming more sensitive. We're feeling on a deeper level. We're feeling these energies because we feel our way through the unknown. We feel our way through the vibrations. All sound, all light, all energy is bringing us, carrying us back to source. We follow this back, this energy, this sound, this frequency back to the still center through that zero point center into the what we call the great mystery, the eternal self, the the mind of God, the mind of Buddha, Allah, whatever name you want to give to source, that which is beyond all concepts, beyond all words. And the best we could do is point to it with these concepts and with the knowledge and with the information. And then we go there with our with our spirit, with our energy, with our consciousness. We're navigating through this, so we keep going through and through and through until full compression breakthrough, because we're right at the precipice, we're very close, and all of our earth angelics, including you listening to this now, came on this mission to assist Gaia and all her children of the sun through this great awakening, and we do this navigating through our heart, and, and assisting our brothers and sisters all over this realm. You're each station on a sacred portal, on a, on a node point, on a grid point. We're all over, all our angels. All our angels are stationed all over this planet, every nation, every land. You're anchoring in the code. So if you'd like to help assist us get this video out, what would help is if you like, leave a comment, I share this video, help us with the algorithms. We're being shadow banned on all the social media sites and especially YouTube. Uh, not, we're not, the, even though we have the most subscribers ever, we're getting less and less views. So we're putting out other information, these shorts and other things to try and help with these algorithms and help get our information so we can continue bringing these uh, daily transmissions to you and help assist all of our people in this great ascension and we call the great awakening which is awakening to our true potential our true nature which is infinite when we tap into the gene the genetic the genie within which is our source code of pure light pure consciousness we say pure awareness of buddha mind zen master banke would teach all beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas. That means a pure awareness that is infinite knowledge. It is infinite energy, potential. So we've reached this critical mass, this critical point of this compression breakthrough. So we say, the mind would say, we're going through the new human to manifest the new human. It's this quantum leap of consciousness into what we call homo luminous beings of light. These are light body. This is light body manifestation. I called, goes by many names in Tibetan Buddhism, Jalus, which is rainbow body. The rainbow body master convert physical matter to light, lead to gold. Gold is symbolized of the light of source of Christ consciousness, which is love. Christ is love, is truth. And we are navigating through using uh, the power of love, the power of truth, of knowledge. We bring the knowledge and the wisdom together. The gnosis of the south, this is the negative polarity with the positive. Uh, the wisdom to come together, the wisdom and the knowledge to create a whole, complete human being, a true, real human being living from our hearts, being connected to all things in all realms, all timelines and dimensions. So if you'd like to support our work and mission, help us continue bringing these, uh, share these videos. Uh, you can make a donation or pledge to our links at egolovecondor.com. We are very grateful. We couldn't be doing this work without all of your support. And thank you 
for all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We feel we're very close uh, to this, to the freedom, to freeing humanity from the pain and suffering and from these wheels of birth and death. Uh, all the masters have returned, all the energy is returned for this final shift, this final push through <laughs> into this birthing process, the birthing of the new golden age. We call the new earth rising from the ashes like a phoenix from the old, manifesting the new with pure crystal clarity of our true nature, which is love, infinite love, infinite light, infinite truth. Have a most beautiful, blessed day. Keep living from your heart. Keep walking your path, your sacred path with heart. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.